Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at structures. Now, let's say you have, uh, you want to have one value, but you want that value to store several different um, values. So let's say you have a customer and you want it to store their name, their email, and their, uh, let's say, first name and last name. So their whole name, first name, last name, and email. Well, you could make uh, a bunch of arrays or a bunch of single variables, but that would be really frustrating and it would take a long time. So what you can do instead of that is create what's called a structure. Now a structure is similar to a class, in, uh, and what I mean by that is that it can have methods, constructors, nested types, and other stuff but one difference is that it uh, it's missing some of the other stuff that class is and it's light it's very lightweight it doesn't take up much resources but uh, so let's go ahead and create an application for this so we'll go to file new project make sure you select windows forms application and we will call this structures okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just build a little interface right here so we'll go ahead and open up the toolbox. We will add four text boxes. So we'll just add one, copy that, two, three, four. Okay, so let's get these in order here. Okay, so now we'll just select all of these. You can do this by using your mouse and dragging over them. And we'll stretch them out some to cover most of this and we'll make this a little bit smaller so we can add labels so we'll add four more labels so we'll just copy and paste that so we have label one label two label three and label four okay so now let's just we'll leave the names for the labels the same but we'll just change the text value so we will set this one equal to name We'll set this one equal to first name. We will set this one equal to last name. And we'll set the last one equal to email. Okay, so now we'll just add a button. And we will set the name of that button to, or we'll set the text to, list customer and if you haven't already guessed we're going to be dealing with some uh, fake customers in this uh, program so we'll set this to text name we'll set this one to text first name we'll set this one to text last name and finally the last one to text email Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close out of our toolbox and we will double click on form 1 to bring it op to open up the code. Now, we'll go ahead and zoom in here and we're going to go ahead and create a structure. So, we do this by using uh, if you haven't already guessed uh, the either the private or the public keyword. Now, we want this structure to only be available to form 1, the class form 1. So, we'll use the keyword private and then we will type structure to tell the compiler that we want to make a structure. And now what we do is we set a name for that. So we'll just call it customer. And you can see we, when we press enter, we get in, struct in structure. Now, if you haven't already noticed that you do not have to define a default data type for a customer. It can be equal, I mean, it can, uh, you can store different data types in it. You can store strings, doubles, integers, as many as you want. So let's go ahead and create some public variables. So we'll go ahead and type public first name as string. We'll create a last name as string. And we will create an email as string. And now you probably noticed that we didn't make a full name uh, variable we don't need to do this we can just take first name and last name and combine them okay so now what we're gonna do 
is we are going to create a structure. So let's go ahead and create one of these structures. Now whenever you create one, um, it exists on its own and it has nothing to do with this right here. So you can make as many as you want and it's pretty much your own data type. So we will type private because we only want it available to class form one and we'll call it object customer as customer. Okay, so in this tutorial we created the GUI for our uh, little program that will list customers using structures. We created a structure and we uh, made an instance of that structure that we can use throughout our, our whole class. Now we can make as many of these as we want but we just have to have different names for them. So um, go ahead and put this code in if you haven't. You can play around with what you can do with structures. Uh, if you want to go ahead and use IntelliSense uh, to see what you can do and learn on your own. Uh, and if not, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and do it anyway even if you do uh, mess around with the structures. But move on to the next tutorial and we will be working more on this program. So thanks for watching guys.